freaking Mystery Creek. And we're, me and Dennis are fishing in his sea ark. And we're fishing dead shrimp. There is no fiddler crabs. We're fishing dead shrimp on the bottom around the creek docks. This is low tech fishing at its finest. All right, Dennis is on one. Exactly. Who let them dogs out? It's puppet time. It's puppet time. Uh oh, uh oh, trout. Trout. It might be a keeper. He is not good. Yeah. Measure him. It might be a keeper trout there, folks. This is prefrontal conditions. Fourteen and a three quarter if you pinched his tail. Oh, Dennis has got one on. Dennis has got one on. Pupper red, pupper red. Whoa, Mr. Trout. Fifteen inches all day long, do da, do da. Fifteen inches all day long, do a do da day. Yep, yep, yep. Here's what we're using, folks. See that bucket of, it's got filler, dead fillers in it. This is a bucket that I saved, okay? We've got fresh dead, but we're not even using it. See what I'm doing? I'm picking a piece like this. This is low tech fishing at its absolute finest. And I'll be coming up here in my boat. That's for damn straight and sure. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> off limits to you. <laughs> off limits. O only John boats yeah, allowed. Alright, I'm hooked up with somebody. Not Pump Red. This is my tiger stick and my Ryoga here because if I get a big one, I'm going to rip him right to the boat. Right? This ain't no messing around here in low tech fishing at its finest. This ain't no messing around. Pupai, it is the future. He is the future of the species. He is the future. Now, what is Dave using up here in Billy Bob Creek? Well, I'm using my Daiwa Ryoga jigging. I'm on my really light, ugly stick tiger. And it's a real light one. What is it? It's a seven foot medium light, 12 to 20 pound. And a friend of mine already said on a text, oh man, using a big heavy rod up there. Well, look at this. Look how that bends. And I like it because I can just tuck it under my arm. And believe it or not, my intercoastals are actually stiffer than this rod. I mean, I could have brought a striper, but I just felt like using it. I'm just kind of on this kick, Ryogo on a tiger rod. And I got 30 pound, uh, just braid. Same thing I always use, a Hercules black, as you can see. Would that be called a double uni? Yep. I tie on a double uni to a 30 or 40 pound uni uni leader, and I'm using the knocker rig. I'm using the 3 8 ounce tied to a one-aught Mustad 
3407 Duratin. They're hard to find, these right here. 3407 Duratin, hard to find. And then I'm just hooking a shrimp on there like that, with the head off. I think, I think we just found the, the pup drum hole. All right, flounder folks. It's up. Redfish, trout, and flounder. Redfish, trout, and flounder. That's what's called a slam. A creek slam. It's not very often Dave gets a slam. That's a decent fish. I mean, you know, for up here in a little creek. What the hell? Come on. Welcome to the Mayport Boat Ramp, folks. This is a 2072 Sea Arc uh, coming in for an approach. And he's in a circling pattern, and he's working his way around, um, working his way around to the uh, landing strip. Um, here he comes at a second attempt. Be ready for a slight bump, Sea Arc. Yeah, straighten your approach, Sea Arc. Okay, well there's the dock. Okay, well, control tower uh, to Sea Arc. Control tower to Sea Arc. Uh, straighten her out. There you go. Now gun the living shit out of her, Sea Arc. Come on, come on, Sea Arc. Go ahead and gun the hell out of it. Okay, get her up here. Come on. There you go. All right, ease her on up there, Sea Arc. Oh, ooh, that was a good landing. Oh, okay. Come on up. Ease her on up. There you go. Okay. Yes. All right. A little. Keep a redfish. Boy, that's a rarity. Yeah. That's the right eating size. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. 